Hello and welcome to News Analytica. I am Afumia Yalu and this is your news analysis for the day. Wheat production in Ethiopia. The issue of wheat availability has become a key concern of global food security, particularly as of recurrent droughts and wars ravage important supply grounds and logistical lines. The ongoing Russia and Ukraine war has significantly affected wheat prices worldwide as the two countries account for 30% of the global wheat trade. The Horn of Africa is markedly affected by the supply disruptions on wheat from the war as the region reels from successive droughts and civil wars, not to mention a fast-growing population. The Ethiopian government took note of the worsening global availability of wheat and began working on a nationwide plan to expand production and productivity using its own resources. What is the global trend in wheat production and what is the current status of wheat production in Ethiopia? Today's news analysis will focus on this issue in detail. Stay with us. Global trend of wheat production. Studies indicate that wheat is the second most produced cereal behind maize, and the global trade of wheat is greater than all other crops combined. According to World Agriculture Production, the world wheat production for September 2022 and 2023 is expected to be 783.9 million metric tons, around 4.3 million tons more than the previous month's production. The figure also shows an increase of a little over 4 million tons, or 0.5% from last year's wheat production around the globe. China, India, and Russia are the three largest individual wheat producers in the world, accounting for about 41% of the world's total wheat production. The United States is the fourth largest wheat producer in the world. From the top 20 wheat producing countries in the world, Ethiopia ranks 18th. Current status of wheat production in Ethiopia. Official figures show wheat production accounts about 17% of total grain production in Ethiopia, making it the third most important cereal crop after teif and maize. It is cultivated on a total area of 2.1 million hectares annually. According to World Agriculture Production, Ethiopia is the 18th wheat-producing country in the world and the second largest wheat producer in Africa next to Egypt. Its annual production stands at 5.7 million metric tons as of September 2022. Some studies project the total wheat production in Ethiopia to be around 6.7 million tons. The wheat production system in Ethiopia is twofold, rain-fed and irrigation. The rain-fed wheat production is dominantly carried out during the main rainy season in Ethiopia, June to October, in the highlands of the country and covers about 1.7 million hectares of land annually, while irrigated wheat production is carried out from November to April in the lowlands of Ethiopia along the Awash, Wabi Shabale and Omo River basins and covers 0.4 million hectares of land annually. Considering domestic and international factors, the government of Ethiopia has identified different mechanisms that can increase wheat production in the country, including the introduction of small and large-scale irrigation development in the lowland areas and cluster farming. In particular, the government has prioritized irrigated lowland wheat production along the Awash, Wabi Shabale, and Omo River basins as a key strategy to ensure national food security since 2019. Studies indicate that although Ethiopia has about 5.3 million hectares of land suitable for irrigation agriculture, only less than 2% of this potential has been utilized. The extent of wheat cultivation through irrigation along the three basins has been 21,000 hectares of land in 2019 and 2020, 187,000 hectares of land in 2020 and 2021, and 400,000 hectares in 2021 and 2022. The average yield from irrigation ranges from 4 to 7 tons per hectare. In addition to irrigation, cluster farming has also been introduced in the country, which expands yield per hectare from rain-fed system. On a visit to East Shawa zones, Dugda and Bora Waradas, on the 29th of October 2022, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed praised 8,000 farmers who have successfully grown wheat through cluster farming on 31,000 hectares of land. He said Ethiopia would attain food security goals, overcome hurdles and see our country thrive as we work together. A similar trend of cluster farming is being practiced in Amhara, Oromia and southern regions of Ethiopia. The boost in wheat production is expected to enable Ethiopia to export wheat to neighboring countries. The Prime Minister was quoted during a speech at Parliament in mid-June saying Ethiopia would start exporting wheat next year. Djibouti's Minister of Agriculture, Water, 
Fisheries, Livestock and Marine Resources, Mohammed Ahmed, also stated on the 25th of October 2022 that his country has shown interest to import wheat from Ethiopia. The new Kenyan president, William Ruto, also expressed his readiness to purchase wheat from Ethiopia during his official visit to Addis Ababa on 7th of October 2022. What are the implications of such trend? If Ethiopia attains food self-sufficiency by 2023, it ensures food security in the country, which is a significant milestone for a country known for accepting food aid and purchasing wheat from abroad. Second, by reducing the import of wheat, the foreign currency reserves would be diverted to other public services and key infrastructures. Studies indicate that in the last five years, Ethiopia imported on average 1.5 million tons of wheat at an average cost of $700 million annually. Last but not least, exporting wheat to neighboring countries will enable the integration of regional economies in the Horn of Africa. This was the news analysis for today and thank you very much for staying with us.